Well, here's a swamp cooler that was pulled off a roof. And there's nothing wrong with it. This one's actually stainless steel. And the only thing is it's just a little bit dirty. If you can see, it's got some buildup in it. And uh, so I'm gonna go through it, clean it up, and test it all, and wire it up, and do a little series on how you can do all this. And uh, it's pretty basic. I'm gonna just point out some of the main things right here is here's the float that controls the water when the water gets so high then it uh when the water gets so high it shuts off by using the float it has a switch right here you can see there's a switch hopefully you can see that there's a switch in there so when the float gets high enough it cuts off the water so this can always be adjusted for your water level Next, you have your pump, and your pump, you know, it works off 120 volts, and all it does is just pull water out of the bottom here, pull it up this line, it comes up to the spider, it spreads it out to the sides, all the way around, and those come down to the pads. The pads right now have been winterized, so they're sitting right here. These these look like they're going to need to be changed out, but the water will come down, it'll collect up here, it'll run down and let the air flow past it. And, of course, here's the motor. Going to the belt, to the fan cage, and when it spins, it pulls air into the house, past the cooler, past the, past the evaporator pads, which cools the house. So, I'm going to be going through some basic steps on how you could, how to get this prepared and get it on a roof, how to wire it up, and so forth. Okay, so I vacuumed it out, and I cleaned out most of the big stuff. My vacuum is acting up, so it does need to be cleaned better, but when I, I'll clean it up better after I, before I put it in operation. I got all the massive, big chunks. Out, as you can see the main thing is uh, you know you don't want it to clog up your filter uh, clog up your fuel your uh, you don't want it to clog up your water pump going up and your lines going up to uh, your spider so you want to vacuum it out and you want to get it cleaner than this but for right now that'll be enough so the next step is to hook up the water line coming in so that we can fill it up with water and test the float out and its functionality.